Hello everybody. Today I would like to share with you an issue I'm having with my 12 liter silver cell. I have been running this cell on a fixed voltage of 1.5 volts. When I first started the cell about three weeks earlier, the current was around 1.75. Now it is around 0.83. I think something is clogging the basket. Let's start by cleaning up any silver nitrate crystals. The silver nitrate crystals have a bluish tinge because it is contaminated with copper nitrate. Pure silver nitrate crystals normally appear white. Digging around in the anode basket with a spoon reveals that the silver shot has glued itself together with what I believe to be mostly cement silver, silver and copper nitrate crystals, and some platinum group metals. Let's remove the anode basket so we can clean it out. As you can see, the area of the filter basket that was submerged has turned very dark with contamination. Let's take a look inside. I have dissolved around 8,000 grams of silver shot into this stainless steel pot. This cell is filled with 12 liters of silver nitrate solution. The concentration of silver in solution is 150 grams per liter. Wow, it looks like a diamond mine. You can see crystals growing on top of crystals growing on top of crystals. Silver is one of the best conductors of electricity. The reason being is it has the most free electrons, much more than copper, aluminum, or steel. This will allow you to really pack your cell full of silver crystals while also improving the rate at which silver crystals grow. As the silver crystals create more surface area for more silver crystals to grow. Based on my experience there is about a thousand grams of silver shot in this basket. There is no need to add that to my silver cell filter pile. I will just rinse off the contamination and return it to the basket. As you can see, the bottom of the basket is full of mud.
I will allow this filter to air dry and then I will place it with the other contaminated silver cell filters for a future extraction. There is a lot of mud in this silver shot, enough so to hinder the electrolytic process. Be sure to use only distilled water when working with silver nitrate, as the introduction of tap water will cause silver chloride to form. Most of the contamination should rinse free with some distilled water. rinsing the basket with distilled water. There we go. That's clean enough. I will make a new filter from a Daycron shop vac filter bag. Daycron material is chemically known as polyethylene terephthalate or PET. This polyester fiber is fairly resistant to nitric acid so it is suitable for use within the corrosive conditions of the silver cell. Just insert the basket and twist the filter tight. Reinstall the cover. Then remove any slack from the filter bag before tightening the lid. Cut away any excess filter material.
I will now place the rinse silver back into the anode basket to continue dissolving into the cell. Scoop the contaminated nitrate crystals back into the anode basket. Now I will top off the anode basket with some more silver shot. Now I will place my anode on the top of the pile. As I said before, silver is one of the best conductors of electricity. There is no need to bury it and risk eroding your pure silver anode. There you go. It looks like I have solved the issue. The current has returned to 1.75. I will place the rinse water in front of a fan to dry and be processed at a later date. After one week, the water has evaporated, leaving behind a bunch of silver nitrate crystals, copper nitrate crystals, silver cement, and some platinum group metals. I know, you're probably just as curious as I am. So let's stir this up and see what it looks like. Let's take a look at the silver cell. I've put about 2,000 grams into it over the last week. Let me just clean up this silver nitrate. I have found that running your silver cell at a lower voltage will create a more concentrated crystal. Running your silver cell at a higher voltage will result in a thinner, longer crystal. Wow, that is beautiful.
here is a sample of the type of crystals you will grow in a low voltage environment. As you can see, they are very short and thick. I will make a video documenting the cleanout of this silver cell. Please like and subscribe.